So guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time checking out the channel, my name is Tommy Kelly. On this channel, we talk about eating disorder recovery, mental health awareness, fitness, nutrition, and also I have a second channel, which me and my friend Ryan Mitchell Brown, please go and check out his channel. As you can see down the bottom there, Crimson Studios, he also has that channel. But the channel we actually do is a podcast called The Road to Recovery podcast and as the name suggests it's about the road to recovery from an eating disorder so this takes me into the topic today what i actually want to talk about is self-care during the quarantine because we know it's very very hard and a lot of people the, the isolation that a lot of people obviously face at the moment is really making their mental health issues a lot harder to actually deal with because we know, especially with isolation, it's really, really hard on eating disorders because a support network is vitally important. And I think that's important to put out there because you need to have that support to obviously keep yourself accountable and obviously to check in with people and obviously relay the issues that you're going on with because I feel that speaking about your problems is the biggest hurdle to actually overcoming things like eating disorders and obviously a lot of other mental health issues that a lot of people face at the moment. So going talking about that, one feel I think it's really, really important is a lot of people don't have obviously a therapist and obviously a professional at especially at this time when a lot of things are obviously being delayed because of the quarantine, people's appointments have been pushed back and things like that. So having access to a, a mental health professional is really, really vitally important. And for me, I know a lot of people say things like therapy doesn't obviously help them, but I think for me personally, therapy, even though it took a few times to actually fully work for me, I feel that that was the biggest hurdle for me, it was actually having someone there that I could obviously relate to, somebody that I felt comfortable with, somebody that I felt I could tell anything to and they weren't going to judge me and they were obviously going to help me find a way that was manageable for me and obviously treat me as a being and not just a label for my mental Ill illness. So I feel that is really, really important to put out there, guys. So today what I want to talk about is better help. I've actually teamed up with BetterHelp, so I'm going to make that fully disclosed. I've been using this for a good few weeks now, and what BetterHelp is, is they're a mental health online support network. They're the biggest in the world. They obviously access you a therapist that's obviously specialised in your area. So you can go onto the app, you can look for a specialist in your area that deals with your specific issue and they'll obviously help you and they'll pair you up with them. So they're an amazing, amazing app. I've obviously had a therapist for now a few weeks. I had my first appointment last week there and it was absolutely amazing, guys. I'm going to be 100% honest on this. I wouldn't support them if I didn't feel they were actually going to be beneficial to you and obviously felt that I had a good relationship and obviously that it was beneficial to me. So Lance, my therapist, I've been chatting back and forth with him for now a few weeks. Obviously I'm doing things like journaling to him. He's obviously letting me know what he thinks about it and he's obviously messaging me back forward. It's been absolutely great. He obviously gets back to me in a, a decent amount of time considering he's in America and I'm in Scotland. So I'm going to take you on to the Better Help app. I'm going to show you how you obviously sign up with it, guys. If you would obviously like to join the app, you can get 20% off with my link, which will be down in the description below. Please go and check that out. But let's jump over on to the Better Help app and I'll take you through it and everything that's involved in it as well, guys. So as you can see, this is me over in the Better Better Help website. You can obviously download the app on Android and iOS, but this is this is the, the, the website. So I'm just going to take you through it how you would sign up. So just say you were an individual, you would obviously click on individual. This would take you through obviously your, your gender. So for myself it would be obviously be male. Select your age. So I would I'm obviously 40 now. Don't laugh guys. I definitely am 40. I'm not kidding on. I'm obviously straight obviously go with what you are i'm obviously married consider i would obviously consider myself to be religious because i'm a christian as i say christian would you be would you like to be matched with a counselor who provides christian-based counseling so you've obviously got that 
option there if you want to do that. So for myself, I did go with a Christian therapist. Do you consider yourself to be spiritual? Yes, I would say I'm spiritual. Have you ever been in counselling or therapy before? So obviously myself, I've been in counselling before, but you would just go with what you obviously are. Do you feel that your mental health is being impacted by the coronavirus outbreak? So I think that's really, really great that they're doing that because a lot of people feel that they obviously can't speak about their mental illness during the coronavirus outbreak because they feel, well, if I speak out about things and people are dying at the moment, I'm not worthy of speaking out because my illness is minuscule compared to that. No, it isn't, guys. I want to put that out there. Mental health is every bit as important as physical health, and they go hand in hand. So speaking about it and obviously talking to someone is very, very important. So just reach out and obviously ask people for help. So just say that you maybe felt that you were. So you would go with maybe. How would you rate your cousin physical health at the moment? So obviously you would go with what you are. I would say I'm in good physical health at the moment. How would you rate your current eating habits? Mine's are absolutely great, but you would obviously go with what you are. I feel, be honest with yourself here. I know, obviously, if you're suffering with an eating disorder and you're in the, the very early stages of recovery, that you're probably going to not know where you exactly are here. So really check in with yourself. Be 100% honest, because the more honest you are, the more easier it is for them to f pair you up with someone that's going to be able to help you at this stage. So for myself, it was good. Are you currently experiencing overwhelming sadness, grief or depression? Yes, I am, because my eating disorder actually started with grief, which actually started with the loss of my mum and then my grandfather as well, and then the passing of my, my dad in 2014, and obviously my wife's miscarriages. So, obviously go with what you feel that you're comfortable with sharing. Over the past two weeks, how often have you been bothered by any of the following problems? Little interest or pleasure in doing things, I would say not at all for me. I've done all this, I'm just taking you through how you would actually go with it, guys. So, as you can see, it'll take you through a lot of different questions, and at the end of it, it'll obviously pair you up with a therapist as well, guys. So, I hope that you find this kind of informative. What I'm actually going to do now, I'm going to take you on to the actual BetterHelp app and I'm going to show you how that app actually works and some of the things that are involved with it and some of the things that they obviously give you. It's absolutely amazing guys, so please stay with me and I'll take you through that. So guys, this is the actual BetterHelp app. As you can see here, I'm on a session with my therapist Lance Rayo. He gives me back and forward, he sends like forward messages, voice messages. You can actually book in a call with them or you can book in a session with them as well, guys. It's absolutely amazing, like I say, it really, really is. This will show you exactly everything that's involved with it. As you can see here, this is the session that I've been giving him. I've obviously shared my journal with him as well, so he can obviously give me feedback on it and things that I can obviously implement to obviously help myself as well. And I'm being 100% honest with him because I feel that is really, really important. Like I say, don't hold anything back. Don't be scared to obviously share things because, like I said earlier, the more honest and open you are with your therapist, the more they can help you. So I obviously shared there that I had a mixed day, as you can see, because I felt as if the, start, the day started well and then later on in the day I kind of had that slump. So this is obviously the journal. You obviously write in with your journal. You can obviously schedule a session with your therapist as well, guys. They've obviously got things like the groupinars. So they do a lot of different groupinars for different things like anxiety, eating disorders, obsessive compulsive disorder, overthinking, obviously understanding perfectionism, which is obviously a big part of eating disorders as well. Obviously toxic friendships, like I say, that's really important because Toxic friendships always hold you back from your recovery, so you've got to be very, very aware of that. And obviously showing you what the online counselling is. Communication mistakes as well, like obviously saying the wrong thing to people because a lot of things are triggering to certain demographics of people, so you've got to be very, very aware of the things you say. A lot of things like obviously that you're looking well can be interpreted from someone with an eating disorder is that they look overweight. That's your, your your eating disorder speaking to you. So be very, very aware of these things. Like I say, the app's absolutely great. You can obviously do a lot of things with it, guys. It's absolutely amazing. I hope you can check it out. Like I say, I'm actually training to be an eating disorder therapist at the moment. I'm obviously offering eating disorder recovery coaching, but this is a therapist. Like I say, what I do doesn't equate to an actual qualified therapist. 
like I say, these are the guys that can really, really help you massively. So I, I can obviously, obviously offer you coaching and things like that, but you can get a lot more help from these guys. So that's why I paired up with them to offer you a bit of extra help over and above what I can actually offer you. I hope you can make absolutely use of this, guys. Please let me know in the comments below what you would like to get from it. And like I say, you'll get 20% off with my discount as well, guys. Like I say, reach out to people at this time. Let them know that you're actually struggling. Be 100% open and honest with you because at the end of the day, you can only, you've got to want the help, like I should say, and you've got to ask for it. The biggest part of recovery is taking ownership of that, asking for help, and then putting in the work that your therapist gives you because you can get a lot of help from your therapist but at the end of the day you've got to put in the work that they offer you and you've got to accept it guys so i hope this has been informative guys i really hope that this can help you like i say thank you very much for better help for reaching out to me because i've got a lot of people on here that i think could really make use of this remember as always guys binge on life purge negativity and starve guilty feelings and i'll speak to you all in the next one much love.